Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Coding Tuts, and welcome to a brand new tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to create this modern header, like, um, that is 100% of the height and the width of your screen. And, uh, as you can see, you can create, like, really cool stuff with it, like, it's really cool like this, and it's a really modern website, actually. And, like, here you can, um, insert, like, create a navigation menu, uh, some text, a search bar on the bottom. And as you can see, when I scroll down, the image starts. And on any screen, it'll, the size will be different. So on any screen, it will be 100% of your width and of your height. So on every screen, it's going to look like this. And it's really easy to do, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, step right into it. So I'm going to refresh this page. And we have a blank page. So I've created an index.html, which is my HTML home mini, uh, file. And the main.css. So I'm going to start off by defining the doc type, which I messed up. So doc type HTML. Oh man. Uh, HTML now. I'm going to write in the HTML tag. I'm going to play it ahead. Give it a title of modern uh, header or something. I don't know. Um, and I'm going to link the CSS. So link rel equals style sheet type equals text slash css href equals main dot css and i've also created uh... i mean not created um uh, chosen some images to work with so i'm not gonna go ahead and choose images on the go so body and now we're gonna start creating our uh... header so first I'm gonna create a div and I'm gonna give it an ID of um main one. Oh. Wow. Uh, main one. Alright. And so now I'm gonna go to CSS and I'm gonna create a uh, hashtag main one. And I'm gonna give it a position of absolute. And when it's absolute, if I give it a width 100%, it's gonna be 100% of your width of your screen. And if I give it a height 100%, it's gonna be the 100% uh, of your height of your screen. If I give it a position absolute, it's not. If I do 100%, the width may work, but I'm not so sure about the height. Or even if they do work, um, I can only create it for one file. Uh, I mean, for one, um, I can only create it one time. So it's best if you use position absolute. So now I'm going to give it a width of 100% and a height of 100%. And I'm going to give it a background image of URL of BG. I've already chosen one, so don't worry. There we go. But now, where is this image? Um, well, first I messed up. Here, so now, when I refresh, you can see that it's in like 15 pixels or something. It's really easy to fix. So I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna create a body tag, body, and I'm gonna edit my body. So I'm gonna remove the margin. I don't know why, by, but by default, I think the margin of the body is like 15 pixels or 10 or something like that. But now you can see that I can only see like the clouds of my image, the top of it. So I'm going to create a new um, tag or I don't know what it's called, background, background size cover. And if I do background size contain, it's going to contain its original size. Um, and if I go in right cover it's going to try and cover 100% of the div so now you can see that it's a little bit like bright now i can change the brightness with photoshop and it's not going to be any problem at all but there's a way easier um well not i wouldn't say easier but there's an alternative way to do it if you don't have photoshop so you're going to go ahead and create a div inside your div and i'm going to name this main one wrapper and actually I'm gonna close it off like this. So now I'm gonna come here and give it and edit it. So main one wrapper. And you're gonna give it a position of absolute. And now when I do with 100%, it's gonna be 100% uh, of the of the uh, div that it's aligned in. 
but since this div is 100% of your screen, it's also going to be 100% of your screen. Same for the height. So now, uh, as you can see, nothing changes. So we can go ahead and create a background color. And RGB uh, doesn't have the transparent uh, part. So I'm going to uh, use RGBA. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5. And I can see that it's a little bit darker. So I'm going to actually change it to 0 0.4. And 0 0.4 is the transparency. Like the maximum is 1. If you change it to 1, it's going to be fully black. As you can see. So I'm going to change it to like 0 0.9 is a little bit transparent. But still, I'm going to use 0 0.4. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so it's pr looking pretty good. But now I want to scroll down. Like I don't want this to be my whole website. So, but we, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go in HTML and create another div. I'm going to give this an ID of main2. And uh, you can name it whatever you want. I just like it. Uh, I just like naming it like this. So now, main2. And basically, same thing. Position absolute uh, with 100%. Height, 100%. But, and I'm going to choose the background image to be URL. I've already um, chosen one so BG background 2 and uh, now when I refresh um, as you can see this um, div is on top. Uh, let me change the size and then I'll explain it background size cover so now you can see that this overlaps is the other one. So how to change this? Well, since it's positioned absolute, I can go ahead and type top. And I'm going to do top 100% since the height of this is 100%. And now you can see that it's uh, right beneath the other div. And when I scroll to the bottom, it's still 100% of my page, of my screen. So it's perfect. But now I, I'll show you a really cool trick that um, basically all really modern websites that you can that you see are that are um, like this that are similar to this use. So you're gonna add something that is uh, called a background attachment and uh, scroll is basically how it is right now. Local basic same thing and iterate. I think it doesn't change at all. So fixed and now when I refresh, watch at this, look at it. It's really cool actually. But now, uh, it looks like this is the background image and I'm just scrolling like this, but it's actually not. Uh, as you can see when I scroll over like on the bottom, the background color is uh, black, uh, white. So now if I go ahead and change the background color to like gray, you can see what I mean, gray. Now you can see that it's a gray when I scroll down. So now um, I'm going to create one more main so you can kind of see how you can create a really cool web page. So ID and I'm going to give it a main 3. And basically, absolutely, absolutely the same thing. So main 3. Um, I'm not going to copy it, I'm just going to write it. So position. Position absolute with 100%. Man, what is up with my typing? Height 100%. And background color, I'm just going to give it a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And really, what is up with my writing though? Um, and now the top is going to be 200% this time since we have already two mains. So now when I refresh, you can see that basically it's really what the hell background color oh, it's supposed to be black back oh I, I missed the G uh, so basically you can see that it's a really cool effect and I really love it now you can uh, add like all sorts of stuff like um, text navigations and I'll actually I'll show you what I mean by that so I'm gonna close this off so I'm gonna go to websites and these are some of my websites that I've created and basically as you can see it's same principle 
and it's really cool. Now, this is not even near done, this website, but anyway, it's really cool. I love it. And uh, yeah, so that's basically really easy to do, as you saw. So, um, if this tutorial was helpful for you guys, make sure to uh, leave a like. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below as well. And if you want me to make a tutorial on some topic that you want, also make sure to leave it in the comment section below. And uh, subscribe so you don't miss a video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!